Continuing our weekend here, Chair Shot Reality is our CSR Summer Tour. We're at the Squirrel Hill Sports Bar in the Squirrel Hill District of Pittsburgh. Justin Labar still here on stage, and I'm being joined by our newest member of the panel. Si. He, he is the one, the only, Juan Hunt. Hola, como estas, Chair Shot Reality? Cinco de Mayo. This is all paying tribute, of course, not to Cinco de Mayo, but to the United Nations of announced teams that we now have at, yes. the, at the pay-per-view. I mean, they, they literally was going to run the Everybody, whole arena. I think we need about, about five more commentary booths, and we might be set. That's all. I think it's all one giant work for a lot of tables to be broken at Extreme Rules. It is. That's it what is. this is going to be. Well, one guy who might not be breaking any tables at Extreme Rules or anywhere in WWE uh, for the future is Ryback. Yeah. Ryback... Uh, it was first on the internet reported that he was sent home on Monday Night Raw, and then Ryback then went on and confirmed it through a blog, basically saying, yeah, I went home because Vince and I are at a standstill in negotiation, and he said, well, why don't you go home until we can figure out, yeah. if we can figure out how to solve this. So Ryback basically is saying that the big problem he has, he's talking about pay equality, mm -hmm. uh, under, you know, making the case that you know, his pay goes down and, and such, where he still has to, he's still working the same amount of dates as everybody else. He's still risking his body as the top guys, and he has to lose in order for a top guy to look good and win, which he has no problem, as he yeah. says. It's all part of the business, putting somebody over, but he feels that pay should be, uh, should be appreciated and, and shown. Ronaldo, I want to ask you. I mean, I've got to work in the wrestling business, mm -hmm. but you, you, as a wrestler, yeah. um, what do you make of this? Well, I know when this first came about, you know, all, everybody, whether you were in the wrestling business or not, they're like, is this a work? Is, is this, this is something that they might be able to work. You're talking about the Ryback situation. The, 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 whole, the whole Ryback situation, because you, you look at something like this, or someone leaving, I mean, you know, it was a work when they did the whole CM Punk when he left the company, and, you know, unfortunately with, with the good brother Titus O'Neil when he had to step back for a little bit. But so we're like, is this another way of just having someone leave and give them that, you know, that yeah. fire up comeback? Um, when looking at the logistics of it, there, there, there's a lot of things that you can say about this. I know from you know, the high seas, we all know it, it's a work. We have to help out each other. It's teamwork. This is what we do. You do the honors, get some honors done in two. This is what we do. I kind of agree with Ryback in certain situations, not in regards of independent wrestling, but when we just look strictly at WWE, those guys on the road 300 and plus days out of the year, you got to look at a lot of things here. Number one, yes, he's on the road like everybody else. Yes, he's going here, he's going there. He's sacrificing family time and everything else. He's held championships as well and lost them as well, just like everyone else. And he says his money is going down. Now, now, that, now that's, that's a problem in my own that I feel like is a complication because when I look at it, you know, it is a difference if someone's coming straight from NXT and then, the, okay, you can difference. The way that I would look at this is I'm kind of on the fence with this. You, I guess you can call me... A, a tweener with this with this situation. There are so many jokes I can make with fences and sombrero, I, but I'm not even. You know what? It. I'm not, not going to jump the fence on People that. People are already you know upset what? enough at Donald Trump. I ain't touching anything. <laughs> oh Go my ahead. gosh! Well, let's look at this. Let's look at this for a sample. You, we, we know that there are, there are the A talents, there are the B talents, there are those that are in the main of it. We have the Cenas, we have the Ortons, you know, we have the Kalistos, uh, we have the Edges, we have the Cesars, we had everything like that. My solution to this will be this is my honest solution. That as we have different gaps of different industries, we have, you say, our C talents and our B talents, we're all on the road at the same time. I say A talents, flat out pay them a straight rate. B talents, pay them a straight rate. C talents, pay them a straight rate. And then their additional comes off of merchandise sales, which to my opinion would be, then, then it comes to your point of now you have to kind of promote yourself. What do you, what do you feel like I, that, I think that I agree with Ryback. I, I think that the gap needs to be narrowed from – what the highest guy is getting to what the lowest guy is getting because of the points that Ryback made that, you know, you need – it takes two pe it takes two people for one person to be declared the winner. It does. However, I think Ryback, it's unrealistic to say that everybody should be completely equal because if you don't have – if you don't have the top guys getting paid more, then there's no motivation. You True. need that motivation to – now, granted, get, becoming a top guy – Depends on a lot of factors, some of which WWE can play favorites. Mm -hmm. If you're given more opportunities, if you're given more merch, what have you. But in terms of getting over with the crowd, that still relies on the performer. Yes. WWE can give you the opportunity, but you have to connect with the crowd. Exactly. And I think Ryback, I think there was times that he was starting to, the Feed mm -hmm. Me More chance, and, and, and the merchandise was there. Mm -hmm. It just never went to the next level. Maybe there's some blame on WWE for that. I think there's also blame on Ryback for that. I think, but the, the, and it's unfortunate. I feel bad for Ryback because he's a very passionate guy. It was the first thing I took away the first time I interviewed him. But the reality of the situation boils down to this, and you know this from being an indie wrestler. Mm -hmm. The reality is, for as many spots as a frustrated wrestler like Ryback or Dolph Ziggler would like to vacate at times out of frustration, 
there is a line of wrestlers who will gladly fill that spot who are making less than they are. Oh, very true. So uh, while I feel bad for Ryback in a sense, and I agree with him in a sense, if you want to leave that spot, next man up's going to take it, my friend. It's it's a dog eat world. Honestly, it's a dog eat world when you look at it. You, you got to go in there. You got to do your thing. Now, number one, when I, you know, going back to what I said before, rather, you know, C talent, B talent, at the same time, do not get this mistaken for half assing a match. You can absolutely not do it. No, and the other, but the thing about the, the whole thing about A talent, B talent, C talent, what people forget, people often judge where a talent would be in that bracket by what they see on television, but they forget. TV is only two days of the week. There's another two or three days in this WWE schedule per week, sometimes more if they're international, where they got to fill two simultaneous house show tours, two simultaneous non-televised tours, and that that's where the, the characters really get over and connect with an audience. It's usually a smaller audience. There's no time crunch of TV cues, so a wrestler can take a minute out from a match and, and, and heckle somebody in the crowd mm -hmm. or, or go go dance with them or engage with them. Do certain so things I you can't do. I think people forget that while they say, man, they never use this wrestler enough on TV or this and that, yeah, but that wrestler's out there working that house show and letting uh, Rusev beat him so Rusev can look more stronger. People forget that those lower level talents are very important because you have a lot of other dates to fill that are never televised. You know, what? one one thing if I could touch base on this, one thing that I was, you know, that I was shared from you know off of the wild Simone. Whenever you listen to, you know, him, the whole wild Simone, that pretty much all of them have so much advice to give you. He said, "Do not let your spot that you're at right now determine the champion that you're going to be in the future," and that and that goes for us in so many different ways of how you know. You can be in one spot today. We, we see it very simple in pay-per-view matches and everything. You can be in one spot today, and it's gone tomorrow. And it, maybe it's your choice. Maybe it's not. It's gone tomorrow. Look at the, guy, look at the guys in the New Day. Yeah. Obviously, Xavier Woods wasn't there for as long, but he had gone through TNA and NXT. Mm -hmm. Kofi bounced back and forth. Big E bounced back and forth. And, and, and you're right. They, you, know, you, can't let one, you can't let one thing define uh, you remember because now they're one of the top acts in WWE, and I don't know what their money situation is, but I'm sure they're doing all yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's going to wrap it up here on Talk with Back. We'd love to hear what you think. Make sure you hit us up uh, on social media. Coming up, Reality Checks with Josh Eisenberg and Rennell Hunt. Arriba!